I've decided to make and test a bunch of single oil soaps. I want to evaluate what each oil does on its own. I'm thinking this will be a practical guide for when it comes to formulating blends, when I can see what qualities each individual oil brings to the party. It's something I've been interested in doing for a while and I'm not expecting to see vast differences between most of them, but there's only one way to find out for sure and that's to do it. To keep things consistent for each test I'm going to use 300 grams of oils. The super fat will be the standard 5% and water will be at 20%. The only difference is that I'm going to add a bit of colour to each one so I can keep track of which is which. I'll cut a few bars of each and test them at different time intervals, starting with when they're fresh out of the mould. I'm Rox. Let's crack on. Okay, so today I'm revisiting the single oil soaps. Now, I made the first one... Um, which I think might have been the corn oil soap. I can't remember on the 10th of July and today it's the 19th of August. I made them all within about a week. Um, so it's been a good month now since I've made them. So I'll just have a quick look at what they're like. So corn oil soap, sticky, sticky to the touch, still well, it's really, it's hard, yeah, but hard, but not fully hard. Cocoa butter, very hard. That's what we'd expect. It's not sticky at all. Um, peanut oil, that's that's pretty hard, uh, not sticky. Shea butter, uh, pretty hard again, not sticky. Hemp seed oil, which I was a bit underwhelmed with that's slightly sticky but not as much as the corn oil um, still very soft rapeseed oil um, this one is it's quite firm uh, yeah still got a little bit of squishiness at the edges to it quite firm not particularly sticky sunflower oil I think this was one of the last uh, ones that I made but as I say, they were all within a week. Uh, this is very, very sticky, very sticky, still pretty soft. Um, rice bran oil, that's pretty firm, not sticky. Grapeseed oil, that is really soft. A little bit sticking to me to come off my hands and everything. This is really, really soft, you know. I can squish that right in. Really soft, really sticky. Okay, let's test them. I can't remember the details of every single one. Um, all I can really remember is being a bit underwhelmed with the uh, hemp seed <clears throat> soap. So let's see how that one goes. I'm going to have very clean hands after this. Okay, corn oil, no particular order, corn oil. Yeah. Bubbling up nicely. Yeah, getting some good bubbles there. Does it cream up? I mean, I've got no complaints there at all about the bubbles. It's just it's very soft. Okay. Rapeseed oil. And this was the unrefined rapeseed oil. I don't think we're getting as many bubbles there as we did with the corn oil. I'm a fan of corn oil in soap, I have to say. I think it's underrated. So those bubbles are smaller. Uh, there's a lot of them, but they're smaller, more compact. Mm. 
yeah, more compact. So that's the uh, rapeseed oil. Okay, let's try next. We'll try. I'm just going to do these in the order that I've got them laid out. So this is the sunflower oil. It's quite slimy. I think this was one of the last ones that I made. So yeah, we're getting bubbles. It's the smaller, more compact type. Let's just keep going. Yeah, we're not getting big bubbles there, but we're getting the bubbles. Feels, <coughs> excuse me, it feels a bit slimy, I have to say. Oh look, that's, that's improving, that's better. It feels a bit slimy, I have to say. But one thing I know is that when it feels slimy, I know that it's not going to dry my skin. And I am washing my hands an awful lot here, so the last thing I want is dry hands. There we are, that's the sunflower. I'm using fresh water every time here to make it a bit more of a kind of fair test. Okay, next we've got peanut oil. That's nice and firm. Let's see. Well, let's give it a chance because when they're a bit harder, they can take more time to get going for the outside to start to solubilize so again smaller bubbles there Okay, next, um, hemp oil. This is very soft. Let's see how this one is now. Yeah, it's doing better this time round, I think, than it did the first time round. It's very difficult to know how to describe bubbles because basically we're getting big bubbles, medium bubbles, little bubbles. Or no bubbles and either lots of bubbles some bubbles or no bubbles whoops so here with the hemp we're getting some bubbles looks okay that is much better than the first time I tried it when it was straight out of the mold that is definitely better but the soap is still quite soft yeah I'm happy with that and it's creaming up look so yeah no complaints now. Change the water again. Oh, four more to go. That's if I haven't forgotten one. Okay, next we have, right, grape seed. Now this is the one, really soft. It's slippy, it's very slippy. Right, let's try it. Mm. So we're getting sparse bubbles, let's call it that, sparse bubbles, the bubbles are sparse, hang on, let's see, hang on, it's improving, it's improving, it's improving, got more bubbles there. You know, that's okay. Um, but as I say, it's really slippy, really soft still too, and I'm at it saying really loads again. Okay, so I know I'm being a tease, I'm going to save the shea and cocoa butter to the last because I know that's what people want, are probably most interested in. 
Um, so next is, there's only three to go anyway, next is the rice bran oil. I honestly can't remember how this did first time round, but this is nice and hard, uh, very firm, not slimy, not sticky. This is the oil I use this a lot in my dog soaps. How's it doing? Yeah, some bubbles. Oh yeah, getting some fairly luxurious bubbles there, so. Yeah, no complaints about that. Right, shea butter. Now because this is hard, it might take the outside a bit to get soluble okay, that tap. Oh, sorry didn't turn the tap off properly so it's doing it again okay so this not producing much in the way of bubbles you know they are there small sort of foamy bubbles and work this up hmm. No, it's it's okay. I wasn't wouldn't expect a hundred percent shea butter soap to be very bubbly, and it's not. Um, you know, so this this experiment really goes to show why really you need a blend to get a nice balance. So yeah, <clears throat> not great on the bubble front. Oh, I'm getting a very wet surface. Last but not least, cocoa butter. Again, like the shea butter, I'm not expecting masses of bubbles. And it will take a, a few moments for the outside layer to solubilize. Right, so I don't think this one's doing as well as the shea butter did for the bubbles, but let's just keep going. No, there are, there are some bubbles there. Just very sparse. Hang on, hang on. Oh. One, one biggish bubble. So yeah, cocoa butter. Uh, a bit disappointing on the bubbles. So I think the winner for me today is, even though it's a bit sticky, um, is the corn oil. But we're still only a month or so in because that is producing some nice bubbles just on its own. Today's winner, corn oil. Um, I think today's loser, if we're talking about bubbles, has to be the um, cocoa butter. But we're going to leave these for a longer period, I think. I might try them next time when they're maybe in, in a couple of months and see how they're getting on. Because there's some of those single oil soaps taking an awful long time to go hard. Okay, so that's the update. See you later. I'm off to make some candles.